In today's logo design tutorial, we will design this logo by using Adobe Illustrator. First of all, let's continue with the sketching process. Now after rough sketching, simply take a picture from your mobile and import it in your personal computer. In this tutorial, I will design the logo by using this image. You can also download the same image by using the link given in the description. Now in Adobe Illustrator, first of all go to File and select New. Then select the unit to pixels and set the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels and select OK. Now we have to place our image in this page. So simply go to file and select place. And select the destination where you have saved your image. Then simply select your image and select place. Then hold down your left mouse button at this corner of the page and drag it towards this corner like this. And now we have to reduce the opacity of this image. So simply go to windows and select transparency and set the value of opacity to 25% and select enter. Now we want to lock the movements of this image. So again go to windows and select layers. Then simply click on this drop down menu and this is over image. Simply select on this blank rectangle and your image will be locked. Now select the ellipse tool, drag your mouse at the center of the shape, hold down the alternate and shift key and then also hold down your left mouse button and drag it like this. Now it doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color from this menu. And let's say we will assign this green color. And here we have the option for the stroke width. Simply set the value to 70 points and select enter. Now we will again reduce the opacity of this circle. So again go to windows and select transparency. And this time set the value of opacity to 50% and press enter. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle from this line to this line of the sketch. And now to reduce the stroke width, simply select on this drop down menu and select the value to say 3 points. And assign it some different color like this blue color. Then select the selection tool and drag this handle like this and also this one. Now we have to arrange this rectangle at the center of this green circle. For this purpose, select both of these shapes, go to windows and select align. From the align to select align to key object, then select your key object which is circle. Then select this icon which says horizontal align center and also this one which says vertical align center. Then minimize this menu, press Z on the keyboard to select zoom in and out tool and simply zoom in this area to have better visual. Now again select the selection tool, then deselect both of these shapes by clicking on this white area, then select only this circle, then select the add anchor point tool and click once at this intersection point, also at this one this one and also at this intersection point. Then again select the selection tool, click once on this rectangle and press delete. This time select the direct selection tool, click once on the shape and click again between these two anchor points and press delete on the keyboard. Now deselect the shape by clicking on the white area, then again select this shape and click once between these two anchor points and again press delete. 
Now select the pen tool, then click at this anchor point and hold down the shift key to draw a straight line and drag your mouse cursor towards the right side up to this point and again left click. Again select the direct selection tool, click once at this half, select the pen tool, again click at this anchor point, hold down the shift key and drag your mouse cursor towards the left up to this point and again left click. Now to complete the shape, simply press enter on the keyboard. Then select the direct selection tool, select only this anchor point and you can see that a small circular icon is appearing. Simply hold down your left mouse button and drag it like this. Also for this shape, only select this anchor point and drag this icon like this. And now we will convert these strokes into solid parts. So simply go to object, go to path and select outline stroke. Also for this part, go to object, path and select outline stroke. Now to reset the page view, simply select control plus zero. Now this one looks good to me, but I want to add a more dimensional impact. So select the rectangle tool. Hold down your left mouse button at this anchor point and drag it like this. Then select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once on this part. Then go to windows and select pathfinder, then select minus front. Again select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this anchor point like this. Then select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once on this part and again select minus front. Then select the direct selection tool, select only this anchor point and drag this circular icon like this. Then repeat the process with this part, again select this anchor point and drag it like this. Now we are almost done with our logo design. Simply select both of these shapes, go to windows and select transparency and increase the value of opacity to 100%. Then right click on the shape and select group. And now to rotate the shape, simply select the rotate tool and set the value of angle to 30 degrees and select OK. And now if you want to get rid of the background image, so simply go to windows and select layers. Here we have the background layer, simply click on this icon and we are done. Now you can apply different colors of your own choice. And now this is for today's logo design tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. You can share your thoughts about the design in the comments section that whether you liked it or not or if you want to suggest any modifications and if you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.